Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants, and let's get started. At the time of various archaeological and historical discoveries, there was no internet to do a comparative analysis of the data, to know the official version of the creation or purpose of the object, and to arrange a search for similar pictures. And we have it, so let's see what we can find online. Adakil, Turkey, and Saxehum in Peru. Different dates of discovery, different age of creation, different technology if we believe the traditional history, but the result is, surprisingly similar. If we stop perceiving myths as a sick fantasy of authors, they can lead researchers to sensational discoveries. The clay tablets of Sumer named five cities that existed before the flood. Aridu, Bab Tibur, Larak, Sipur, and Shurapak. If the flood was a fiction, then the cities must have been the same fiction. But there were archaeologists who were not such prejudiced skeptics, and their efforts were rewarded. Aridu, Sipur, and Shurapak were found, and the excavations revealed traces of a great flood. A notorious flood, of which the Sumerian texts narrate and biblical, had as its basis a real event. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Cambodia's Angkor Wat and Bolivia's Tuanaku. A similar project. Similar. And if you consider that according to Indian legends, there were ditches and lakes around many of the temples, the sites begin to look like the result of the work of a single construction crew. The Roman cup of Lycurgus is about 1600 years old. It is remarkable in that when the light changes, the color of its walls changes from greenish to red. First, its age is based only on the fact that historians believe that the first higher results in the manufacture of glass and glassware showed the Romans, there are no other facts proving its creation in 4th century AD. Secondly, it has a unique composition. Per 1 million particles of glass, 330 nanoparticles of silver and 40 gold, the size of only 50 nanometers. This explains how the color changes at different light angles, but does not explain how the Romans, okay, let's say Romans for now, in the 4th century AD, were able to get nanoparticles of the right size. An explorer who came as a tourist to China noticed that the Badongshan temple was strangely similar to the Egyptian temple of Assyrian. Stone locks between stacked blocks to block the entrance are found in all the corridors in Badongshan. In Assyrian, the blocks are connected in the same way, moreover, it is believed that this method was used only in Egypt. I would have thought it was built by the same people, with the same technology, but there is nothing in the history books about fraternal Sino-Egyptian peoples.
Scientists believe that most of the Earth's surface layers were deposited slowly over millions of years. But there are many examples on Earth of fossilized trees vertically passing through stone. The point is that the trees must have either been quickly covered by the Earth or rotted away. In other words, there is no way these layers could have been deposited slowly over millions of years. The only explanation is that the tree was quickly covered with soft soil and it hardened along with it. Hence the question. What catastrophe caused tens of meters of earth to fall out all over the world? And most importantly, why are scientists silent about this catastrophe? This reminds me of the story of Lot in the Kern. So when our commandment came, we turned that city upside down, we caused it to move up and down, rained on them stones of baked clay, in a well-arranged manner one after another. Karin 11, verse 82. The mermaid holding a flying saucer in her hand is depicted on the map of America in 1562. It is known that all ancient maps were created from the drawings of travelers. One such work, dating from 1562, was found in one of the archives of the university library. The drawing was by Diego Gutierrez, a famous cartographer, explorer, and navigator. It depicts a schematic view of the American coast and nearby islands. The city of Mary was mentioned in many ancient documents, but it was searched until the 1930s. The city was destroyed by its famous neighbor, King Hammurabi, in the second millennium BC. Mary's excavations found 24,000 cuneiform tablets from the archives of the palace. Every single one settled in the Louvre collection. Syria was a French colony at the time of Mary's excavations. In the translation of the texts found, references to biblical cities and patriarchs were found. The Vatican became interested in the translations, and after reading them, banned the publication of Marie's texts under the pretext that the tablets could undermine the very foundations of modern world religions. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.